All right, y'all. So, quick mental health message about moving forward and going backwards. And part of me, I'm not going to use a lot of therapeutic tone terms. I'm going to use a lot of colloquial language because that's the mood that I'm in right now. So, oftentimes, like, you know, we'll say, I'm moving forward. I ain't going back. I'm not looking back and da-da-da-da-da. But we'll have some anxiousness or, like, some anxieties about moving forward right going into the void and into the unknown but we've given ourselves this definitive like no you can't go back da, 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 da. don't talk to that person don't do that again da, 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 da. you're giving yourself this hard absolute no right and so that begins to create some some stagnancy where we, we're not quite ready to move forward but we know we don't want to go back but sometimes going back will propel you forward why is that well in my personal professional opinion i feel like going back is good because only one of two things will happen one you'll find out that maybe going back was great and it was the absolute best thing that could have ever happened to you you made the best decision that you could possibly make all as well or <laughs> you go back and you find out that that person is still stupid as shit, right like man i knew it this person has not changed or this situation is still the same it's still stupid now i fully know that i am capable of moving forward into this unknown zone right so let's have confidence with making this decision let's not give ourselves these hard no's to where we just cannot move forward and we create stagnancy sometimes it's better to make the wrong decision than to make no decision trust me on that believe it all right, y'all. Y'all hear these cars around me and whatnot. Talk to y'all later. Do say.